Hey guys, welcome back to Developquent. Today we're checking out the Rodom 15.6 inch monitor. This is the best monitor that you can use for your laptop or your smartphone like the S22 Ultra. I'm gonna unbox this, I'm gonna show you what we can do with it. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so here's the Rodom. I'm gonna open it right up. Here's the monitor itself. It looks like it has the protective stand case on it. So check that out. Here it is. We'll get to the accessories in just a minute. All right, so this comes with the Magnetic stand and it's very nice quality as you can see. I love the size of these monitors I think they work great for a small form factor PC or a laptop as well as a smartphone So this is not a touch screen if you're wondering but because it's not a touch screen It does come with a much better price tag coming in at around 144 on Amazon and I will make sure that I put the link down in the description so that you can go check that out and right now there's actually a $20 off additional, so it's only around 125 bucks. So looking at each side of the display and kind of how they designed it, there's four buttons here. As you can see, it's got the menu, and then there's the up and down arrows, which you can use for volume or brightness. And then just right here is the power button. All right, now switching sides here, this is the best part of this monitor is it has a full size HDMI. So you can see right there, full size HDMI. So you don't have to worry about mini HDMIs or mini micro USB. You have a full size HDMI, you can plug in HDMI right into your uh, MacBook Pros or HDMI to HDMI. You have a type C right here. You have a mini DP port and then you have the power and connection so you can run the video and power through that. So if you're going to run it with an S22 Ultra or other smartphone, you're just going to connect it right into that and be able to plug it right into your phone with the USB-C to USB-C cable. And real quick, let me just show you an awesome cable. I'll link these down in the description as well, but this is a nice short, huge 10 gigabytes per second high power and data transfer. This is USB-C to USB-C. And they also have these USB 3.0 to USB-C. So these cables are my favorite. If you're gonna go with a portable monitor with your smartphone or tablet or laptop, really anything, these work great to just be able to plug right in and have a, a nice short cable that you don't have to worry about cable management. All right, so now moving on to the other products that come with this. It comes with a USB Type-C cable, pretty standard. HDMI to HDMI, it's a little bit of a shorter one, which is nice. And then you have another USB-C, and then it just comes with a little power dock. You can run it with your smartphone only, but you gotta make sure that your, your phone can power um, video and power to the device, so just check that on your device. Okay, so now that we have checked out what's in the box, let's go ahead and put this back on and let's see how this works. Stand it up just like this. Let me take this little cord and we can plug it into the side. And let's connect our phone and see how this works. Okay, so now that we have our phone here, we can plug this in. You know what, let me show you another quick accessory that I think will work really well with this. Just one second. All right, now this is my little bag of accessories that I use for portable monitors with smartphones or tablets, as well as using on-the-go products for laptops. And I have a few different things in here. I won't really go much into this video, but make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see a full video of all these products that I use in another video. Uh, I have a little, uh, a little little battery bank that works really nice for a little monitor like this. And what product I want to show you is the 101 Design Clips. These work really great if you're using a laptop with your phone connected to the side or if you're using Sidecart with a MacBook Pro. But really I love these for portable monitors because you can connect it to the side just like that and clip your phone just right on there. 
So you can have your phone and your monitor right next to each other if you're using something like Samsung DeX. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what this looks like when we put our phone up on there. So let's use the stand. Just go like this. And we'll try and use these little clips to see what we can do. I think this will be easier if I just take this off. really nice it comes with a flat screen rather than a glossy screen so you're not gonna have to worry about fingerprints all over these now let's take these clips and we'll get this right on here like this they fit nice and snug and then we'll take our phone and we'll get that on the side there just like this okay then we'll take this cord and we'll just plug it right in all right it looks like to be able to use your phone with the monitor alone, you're gonna have to either plug it into the wall or use a little power bank. So I'm gonna use this one right here. It looks like it's fully charged. And I just do USB 3.0 to USB type C to be able to use this. So we'll take this little cord right here that we have. It's short, it's about four inches long. Plug it in just like that. And then we'll plug it into the side of the monitor. Okay, it looks like I just didn't have the cable connected all the way. So here we have Samsung DeX. So let's take our little keyboard and mouse and we can play around with this. And again, if you wanna see these products in other videos, make sure you check them out. I'll have some video links down in the description. This is the Keychron K3 keyboard, the MX Aster 2S mouse, and this is a Delta Hub Carpio wrist rest. So I, I can't live without this, but this video is not about that, so if you want to see those, make sure you look down in the description for those videos. But here, Samsung DeX, we got a Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth mouse. Let's see what kind of productivity we can do with this little monitor. So this is an awesome setup. You can take this wherever you want to go, but you got your phone right here, a little cord going in, and then you have this little portable battery um, right in the back there. You can always recharge. And you may be able to find that your phone has enough power to charge um, the monitor at the same time so that you can use this without having to plug it in at all but if not then use a little portable battery right there and it's no big deal you can get really slim ones that you can just connect to the back of the monitor if you want so looking at this um, if you haven't seen Samsung DeX it's pretty cool you can you know basically use your phone as a desktop PC and be able to put your apps kind of side by side. It feels a lot like Windows. You can open up quite a few different apps at the same time. We have settings over here, Spotify. You can open up YouTube. Another thing that's really cool is you can move this around like Windows and move it to the right side. It takes up the full right half. So this is awesome that this monitor can be able to, you know, put this out as such a nice looking image at that. For only $130 on Amazon right now, or $145 usually for the Rodom, it's really awesome for a 15.6 inch monitor at this type of quality. So let's check out the, if we can change the brightness on this. Okay, so we go through here, we got quite a few options. And you might not be able to see this very well, but that's okay. Eco, so pretty typical for a, a monitor at this price point. Um, there's not any crazy HDR things going on with this, but usually those are just like over contrasting and having more exposure rather than true HDR. So I think this is a pretty awesome image. It looks really good and it might not be easy to see on the video, but let me just show you. I'll just pick up this whole thing here and you know, I'll just take it off and I'll just show you this. This is a portable setup right there. You can just, you know, have it all with you. Super easy. You can have your phone connected just like that. But you know, this, this is awesome. Let's see what this looks like with gaming. All right, so I just went ahead and connected an Xbox One controller. Super easy. I got three things connected on Bluetooth right now. Um, if you wanted to, you could also have a little hub like this. This isn't the best example because this will only work with MacBook Pros, but 
same same concept USB-C and you have USB 3.0 and it's a couple USB-C and HDMI if you wanted to you could connect things that aren't uh, Bluetooth into this uh, into your phone or the laptop and use this monitor with all those peripherals that way as well but I think this is my favorite use case for a portable monitor like this as well as using it with a laptop and mounting it up and having all that and uh, I have my mouse right here I can scroll around um, I do find if you're gaming and you want to kind of touch things you can't do that with this monitor but yeah, you're gonna have to pay another two hundred and or uh, another hundred and fifty dollars to be able to get touch capabilities on a 15.6 inch monitor so they do have a 4k option I'm not sure if it is touchscreen or not but that's around 240 bucks so really good for a 4k monitor and this one's 1080p and it looks amazing for 1080p honestly okay so first thing I'll do is open up a game we'll, we'll try out Minecraft okay so let's go ahead and go right into it so I have a little world and this is awesome you can be able to play stuff just from your phone and have a bit a lot bigger screen rather than the seven and a half inch or 7.8 inch in my case this is a huge 15.6 inch screen so now uh, using this it's really easy to just move around let me see if you can hear the volume very well So not amazing volume, but it does have volume and that's up all the way. So um, really not too bad. And you can see with the uh, 60 hertz refresh rate, it looks nice. It's going to be good enough for gaming, casual gaming. If you're way into refresh rates, then this might not be the monitor for you. But, you know, totally fine for people that don't want to spend more than $150 on a little monitor that's portable. Okay, I went ahead and went into Call of Duty Mobile. We'll check that out and just see how it looks. So you can have a really similar experience to a, a gaming console on your phone because you're using this monitor. So this really, it looks like a nice monitor for for the price. I think it's definitely a great value for your money. All right, now I'm gonna show you this monitor with a small form factor PC, as you can see just behind me here. Let's check that setup out. Okay, so here is the setup for the small form factor PC with the 15.6 inch monitor. This looks awesome. And I'm gonna use this special uh, HDMI to HDMI. It's about a foot long. And we'll just connect it from the side right into the back. There we go, they got that connected. You can see it works out just nicely. And because I don't have power coming from the HDMI, I am going to need to plug this in or have the portable battery like I did before. I'm going to go ahead and plug this right into the desktop to give power from the desktop to the monitor. Okay, there we go. It looks like I just didn't have signal for a minute there. That was the fault of my PC, not the monitor. This is a Windows 11. PC. It's a small system here with a small uh, monitor. I think it looks awesome. These pair very well together. So you can see this setup. We've got the keyboard and the mouse right here. And that's a full setup right there. You could mount this. Right now I have it on this portable little stand. And that works out really nicely for this. It looks great. So if you're not going to be using your phone as a little side cart thing right there, this is another great option. If you want to see a full video of this, make sure you check that card out up there, or it's linked down in the description. This is a 3.3 liter desktop PC. It can run 1080p games, so it's going to work perfectly with this monitor. 
So I've shown you two different scenarios of how you can use this portable monitor with your smartphone, tablet, or with a desktop PC. If you have any questions about any of the tech that I used in this video, I'll make sure to put the links for those products down in the description below. But make sure you comment what your favorite product is and what do you think of the Rodon 15.6 inch monitor. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button if you found value in this video and the link is down in the description below for this product. There's also a discount if you buy it from Rodom. It's also $20 off right now on Amazon so make sure you grab it before that's over. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.